Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about regulators, air hose, and a thing called pressure drop. Um, every paint gun that you get should come with, if you buy a new at least, should come with some sort of an instruction sheet that will give you um, either with HVLP, it's usually a maximum inlet pressure. Um, there's reasons for that, I'll talk about that in a different video. Uh, some of your other guns, your conventional guns, will give you a range of say 40 to 60 PSI you know, at your regulator or actually going into the gun. I like to use a regulator on every gun that I have. Um, my 60 gallon that I use, I don't even have a regulator on it at all. So the tank pressure is what I get at the gun itself. Um, reason for that, if you look in your manual and it says, okay, at 43 PSI is your optimal pressure or maximum pressure or whatever you have, and you have a regulator on your compressor versus your air gun, you're gonna set this regulator at 43, but with the length of hose you have and the diameter of hose you have can and will cause pressure drop. How much pressure drop is determined by the diameter of the hose and the length. Um, so if you have your regulator on your compressor set at 43, you may be getting 40, 38 at your gun. May not be a big deal, but I like to know exactly what my pressure is at my gun instead of guessing what it is. And the longer the hose you have, the more the pressure will drop. It's just the overall restriction and the air flows through the hose, it creates turbulence and kind of loop, and the ear fitting that it has to go through, all that kind of stuff. And that, that sort of thing actually will hamper your CFM too. So I would recommend uh, the shortest hose you can possibly get away with. Uh, 50 feet is usually what, you know, you can buy hoses in, in uh, coils of 50 feet. That's probably good. Um, if you don't want to run a regulator on your gun, that's fine. You can fine tune and do stuff. There's little regulators in the bottom here. I always leave mine always open or all the way open. But just keep in mind that there is a thing called pressure drop and like I said, you can and will have a difference in PSI at your regulator, at your compressor versus what's coming into your gun. So I like to use a regulator on every gun. Um, talk about compressors a little bit. There's three different types of compressors. You have oil free, you have um, oil lube direct drive, and you have the belt drive oil lube. The oil lube means that you actually have oil in the crankcase of your pump. It's kind of like an engine or a piston and all that kind of stuff. The oil free ones, I would stay away from. They run hot. They are not very durable. If you have one, I'm sorry if I'm offending you, but I just, I don't like them. I think they're not worth the time. I've seen a lot of them in metal dumpsters, scrap metal dumpsters. Um, the oil lube direct drive ones are a good bargain. They're usually cheaper than the, the belt drive style. Um, the only thing I don't like is that if you have a problem with either the pump or the motor, basically the whole thing's shot because they're made as one unit. The belt drive ones, if you have a problem with the pump or the motor, you can replace the pump or the engine because there's just a, a mounting plate and then you just have a belt that drives them. The direct drive oil lube are typically kind of your cheapo Harbor Freight. This is a Harbor Freight here. Um, they're very, they're fairly inexpensive. CFM rating is comparable to the belt drive ones. So they're a good bargain. I, I would prefer a belt drive over any of them. Um, if you're looking to stay 30 gallons or under, you can find a lot of them in the cheaper style oil loop direct drive. Anything bigger than 30 gallons, you're talking 60 gallon, and they're pretty much all belt drive. So. Stay away from oil free. These are decent. They're kind of loud. Oil free ones are really loud. I don't like them. <laughs> These are good. The belt drive ones are probably the quietest out of three. They are the quietest out of three. I think they're the most durable and um, in my opinion, well worth the money. 
So check out my other videos. We'll see you later.